you ever get hungry? Of course you do. All of us do. Good food helps keep us strong and healthy. Some of the foods we eat come from plants. Some of our foods come from animals. Like Jane, we all need food to live and grow. All animals need food, and a farm is a good place to see some animals and the foods they eat. Susan lives on the farm. She feeds some of the animals. Her pet is Windy the dog. Although he sometimes eats dog biscuits and cereal, most of his food is meat. We say the dogs are meat-eating animals. The cows on the farm eat hay and grass. Cows are plant-eating animals. Pigs sometimes eat meat, but usually they eat corn and other grains. Pigs are both meat-eaters and plant-eaters. Most farm animals are fed by the farmer or his family. But sometimes animals must find their own food. Whiskers, the cat, is looking for food. He is hunting for a mouse. This bobcat is hunting for food, too. All wild animals must find their own food. Many of these animals, like the bobcat, are meat eaters. They hunt other animals and kill them for food. Many other wild animals look for and eat only plants. The beaver is a plant-eating animal. He eats the roots and stems of plants that grow in the water. He also likes the bark of trees. Can you think of other plant-eating animals living in the forest? The moose is a large plant-eater. Another plant-eater much like the moose, is the deer. This baby deer, a fawn, is searching for some tender grass to eat. During winter, it is harder for the deer and the other wild animals to find food. They search under the snow for leaves and grass or nibble at the bark of twigs. Does the deer remind you of this plant eater? A cow's jaws and teeth are well suited for eating plants. If we could look into the cow's mouth, we'd see that she has front teeth that she uses to tear the grass and other plants from the ground. She has back teeth that she uses to grind the plants. Here is another large plant-eating animal the giraffe. See how he, too, grinds his food. The giraffe's long neck would certainly help him reach the leaves growing high on a tree. You have probably seen giraffes in the circus or at the zoo. Have you seen other plant eaters in these places, too? Have you seen elephants? Watch how they use their trunks to bring the hay to their mouths. The elephant's trunk helps him get his food. It takes a lot of food to feed an elephant. Elephants are among the largest plant-eating animals in the world. And here is a very small plant-eater, the chipmunk. He's eating the seeds of a dried flower. See how he uses his paws to help him eat the seeds. Of course, many birds, such as the cardinal, eat the seeds of plants, too. How do you think the cardinal eats the seeds? He cracks them with his strong beak. Many other birds eat plant seeds. This goldfinch is searching for seeds in the tall plant. What other animals find their food in plants? Bees suck a sweet juice from certain blossoms. This juice is called nectar. The bees make the nectar into honey, which they eat. A bee has a long tongue. It puts the tongue deep into the flower to get the nectar. 
The bee is not the only insect that gets its food from plants. The grasshopper is a common plant-eating insect. This is how a grasshopper looks when you're very close to it. His strong jaws are well suited for gnawing plants. Now we've seen some of the different animals that eat plants. A cow, a deer, a grasshopper, a goldfinch. The goldfinch, remember, is a plant-eating bird. But many other kinds of birds, like these swallows, are meat eaters. They catch and eat insects. Do you know other birds that eat insects? If you've ever watched a mother robin, you may have seen her bringing caterpillars and other insects to her hungry family. A worm is food for the robins, too. Many water birds are meat eaters. They catch and eat fish. The long, strong beaks of most water birds help them catch the fish. Let's watch this pelican, another kind of water bird that eats meat dives into the water to catch a fish. Yes, the pelican is a meat-eating bird. These large meat-eating birds are vultures. There is another meat-eater in the picture, a coyote. The coyote looks very much like another meat-eating animal we've seen, the dog. Windy, strong jaws and teeth are well suited for tearing meat and even gnawing and chewing bones. If we could see inside his mouth, we'd find long, pointed front teeth that are used to tear the meat, and sharp back teeth that are used to chew the meat and bones into pieces that are small enough to swallow. Can you think of any very large meat eaters, larger than the dog? Here is one of the largest meat eaters, the lion. Watch his strong jaws as he chews some meat and bones. Sometimes the lion is called a big cat, and that reminds us of Whiskers the cat. Remember? Yes, Whiskers is a meat eater too. Now we've seen some animals that eat meat. A cat, a dog, a lion, and a pelican. But here are some birds that eat both plants and meat. Ducks and some other water birds eat both plants and animals. They eat small bits of plant food that they find in the water. They also eat insects and other small water animals, which they sometimes find by diving. Like the ducks, raccoons eat both plants and animals they find in the water. See how he uses his front paws to find bits of food. A raccoon may also search for food in a tree in the woods. Now he has found some insects. With the help of his paws, he catches and eats the insect. This bear is also getting his food from a tree. He is eating the seed pods of the tree. Like raccoons, bears eat both plants and meat. Here is a bear eating meat, a fish he has caught. The pigs we saw before on the farm also eat both plant and animal food. We have seen some animals that eat both plants and meat. A pig, a bear, a raccoon, a duck. We saw meat eaters, animals that eat other animals. And then we saw animals that eat plants. We saw this plant eater, the cow. We saw this meat eater, the dog. We saw this animal that eats both plants and meat, the raccoon. We also saw that wild animals must move about and hunt for their food. We remember, too, that animals have different kinds of beaks and different kinds of jaws, and different kinds of teeth suited for eating different kinds of food. And most important, 
we remember that all living things need food to live and grow.